Okay, we are back <clears throat> for the following segment of this sh this week's uh, progressive discussion show. 100% ad libbed, unplanned, unrehearsed. Anything can happen. Mm -hmm. Anything and everything goes. No censorship. The undisputed kings of uh, progressive internet talk radio. You can take that right to the bank, suckers. Yeah, try to make it a community bank or a credit union. Yeah, yeah, a lot like not a, Goldman Sachs. A, a little, a little itty bitty savings and loan or a credit union. Yeah, not a. Don't make it a big bank. Yeah. Because we want to break them suckers up. Yeah, which is what Hillary never says. That's correct. We want uh, to eat itsy Barney bitsy, does. itsy bitsy, teeny weeny, yellow polka dot bikini, or just a, which I bought for the first time today. Uh, just a little itsy bitsy bank. There you go. Run by Oompa Loompas from the Willy Wonka movie, right? Okay, go ahead, go ahead, Chief. Sink your teeth into them doll readings. Got to talk teabagger talk a little bit. Uh, down yonder, them da readings. <coughs> New research reveals that eating a vegetarian or very healthily could actually be harmful to the environment. Sounds like bullshit that the uh, American food in industry would say. The USDA recommends people consume more fruits, vegetables, the dairy, and seafood. And meat production has a very bad reputation when it comes to the environment. That's very true. But when researchers at Carnegie Mellon, Carnegie, Carnegie, Carnegie Mellon University studied the resources used and greenhouse gases emitted per calorie of foods, they found, surprisingly, that a lot of healthier foods rank high in amounts of resources used and greenhouse gases emitted per calorie. In other words, what they're saying is the more meat that is consumed, the more flatulence occurs in, in, in no. humans and animals? The more vegetables. Oh, oh, okay. They're talking about the what it takes to raise the livestock in comparison to the, the plant foods. And you see what is happening with Chipotle. Chipotle buys direct from the farms fresh and prepare stuff like that. And that's why they're having these outbreaks of E. coli, etc. Well, uh, speaking of E. coli, I'll they're give you an start I, cooking some stuff. I'll give you an example. Um, apple orchards. Uh, it's a known fact that deers are, are very fond of apples. So the deers would. Uh, you know, walk through the orchard and uh, any apples that have fallen already would get some fecal matter on them and there's your E. coli. I mean the E. coli doesn't just appear uh -huh. out of nowhere. Uh -huh. no. For example, they said that eating lettuce is more than three times worse than eating bacon. What? Well, in terms of greenhouse gas emissions. I, I wouldn't believe any negative propaganda around any dark leafy vegetable, which is probably pound for pound the most nutrient dense food you can eat, is a dark green leafy vegetable. So I don't know about that. This may be due to the energy used in the food supply chain, including the growth, production, and storage of such goods. The study was published in Environment Systems and Decisions. Well, providing the vegetables are 
uh, organic non-GMO, which is another talk show. Yeah. You know, it's very difficult to uh, to eat 100% healthy, to, to afford... Mr. These, Gary No yeah. was speaking about a gentleman uh, on Friday who was 110 years old right. and eats healthily and etc. and naps. Takes canaps? He takes naps. <laughs> Which I like because I like to take naps. You know? Well, after I'm a a, after my indulgences on on uh, Christmas uh, Day, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, I feel like <coughs> nodding off now. But I did take a Benadryl before coming here. Oh Lord! Just in case. You don't seem to uh, arrive at a situation with Allegra. I don't take this all the time. I take it once in a I know, but Allegra does not make you drowsy. Oh, that? No, it doesn't yeah. It doesn't help my allergies. Ah. All the products that are one I pill see. a day, non-drowsy formulas, the Loratadine, which um, is popular, uh, uh, which is Claritin, uh, all those, the um, uh, Zantac, uh, um, is it Zantac or that's the stomach uh, anti-acid? No, that's uh, um, the uh, no, well, Zantac is the anti -acid. yeah. I think that's the uh, anti-acid. What's that? Zyrtec. Zyrtec. Yes. Yeah. Uh, all of the non-drowsy one a days don't help me. Same thing with motion sickness. If I took a one a one pill boning. It doesn't work nearly as well as the Dramamine, but the Dramamine will knock you out. But it works, you what see. What about cinnamon? Oh, or ginger, you mean? And ginger, it didn't work. Me. And there's a uh, homeopathic uh, uh, based upon the nicotine. Well, when I when I used to go surf, uh, I mean, uh, party boat fishing, I gave it up because I, I get very seasick uh, easily. Yeah, please don't do that. <laughs> But anyway, the Dramamine is the only thing that helped, but it made me sleep on the boat. <laughs> nice! I could have slept... How the hell are you going to pull in any fish if you're sleeping? I could have slept at home. Yeah, exactly. And saved myself the money of going on a party boat. Oh, hey boy. Yeah, that's what I say. All right, continue. Christian conservative activists whose support has been hotly pursued by Republican presidential candidates have begun to quietly coalesce around Senator Ted Cruz of Texas. It's You know, it's amazing that these people get so much face time and media attention. I mean, conservative Christian, which is really a cult, when, if, if you find out they, they know nothing of the Bible, it's really a cult. Religion hasn't been proven, so why does... Why does the, uh, um, the media and and the political uh, uh, you must have faith, my son. The political uh, uh, environment, political s uh, scene. Why do they give so much face time and pay so much attention to them, if the, if religion is not proven? Because they're afraid of saying anything bad about religion. Why not? You just because, tell it like it because is. Because they can't tell the difference. You, you know, they, they they go around and they claim that Orthodox Jews, uh, 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 extreme Muslims, uh, uh, Islamists, and Christians are, are, are worshiping the same God. Where the hell do they get that from? I haven't heard... I very rarely hear anything accurate from their mouths in terms of uh, what is, what was written what, right. in the Bible? That as far as quoting the Bible or, or whatever. I mean, there, there's even uh, extremists in 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 
with the Jews. I mean, look at the uh, what about the Christians? Right wing Zionists and the Christians and uh, what the hell he called a Roman Catholic Church. But you know what? This whole this whole attitude of being thin skinned and walking on eggshells uh. and, and withholding reality and the truth from people because their person is afraid of being called uh, 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 biased or bigoted or whatever anti-semitic or homophobic or whatever uh, xenophobic who was a warrior princess Gina, uh, warrior play, princess. played by Lucy Lawless seven bells uh, for Lucy Lawless me. xenophobic afraid of Xena oh we're on a roll um, but you know you can't go through life being thin-skinned and this is what people do they're, they they, they want to be liked so badly Ooh. please like me please love me no don't don't say I'm bad don't me I can care less no, I just minute. believe in the truth Marco Rubio said don't call me a bigot don't what, call me a bigot what was it pertaining to somebody called him a bigot and it bothers him yeah I'm not a bigot uh, Instead of saying, I'm not a bigot, why doesn't he just go after the person in a fierce debate and, and, and prove the other person wrong? Instead of saying, please don't call me a bigot. A major boost for his efforts to present himself as the leading challenger to front runner Donald Trump. Front runner, yeah. Members of this core GOP constituency have long been torn between several favorites in the party's crowded field. But many organization leaders have decided in recent days to line up behind Cruz. Yeah, they like Grandpa Munster. Because they consider him the best funded and most electable a social conservative in the race. Oh, they like the idea that he prays like this, like he's taking a big shit. With his eyes squinted. Does God hear his prayer? Well, that's like an antenna to uh, 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 evangelicals. They put their arms and their but hands up here. Does God hear his prayer? According to the Bible, that is. N not really, no, 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 well, not no. really, no. I mean, I mean, there a are a strong, unpolitically correct, no. I mean, there are Thank parts you. of the Bible where, it, where it, it 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 mentions that you know you can communicate with God. I mean, in, in who? Vast majority of humankind. Psalm, like in Psalms, or only the ones that He has chosen. Like Psalms. Well, I told, um, I told. Can create, I says. The elect is the elect. He seems he's he's telling me the elect are the believers. I go, no, they're not. Well, they are the ones in God's church. I says there are there is twenty one hundred forty four thousand of the the heavy hitters that are were are pre selected no, 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 by no, no, God. No, 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 all of them have not been pre selected yet. Oh, it hasn't happened yet. Of the hundred forty four thousand, there they're are not bunches yet that have been selected during throughout time but there are more to go we have a tribulation to go through well, when, is when he... a lot are going to change well how long does it take him to select 144,000 I'll be because he's very selective in other words all these I should tell him billions all these uh, jabronis that go to all these churches born again evangelical holy roller churches where everybody's laying their hands on everybody and praying for everyone, uh, uh, like my sister goes to one, unfortunately, laying the hands, praying, let me pray for you. Oh, no, no, let me pray for them. Let me pray for them. They all think that just by being a believer and accepting uh, Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, that they are, according to Ken, they're one of the elect. Sorry. God will determine who are the elect, not can create. In other words, the, these born-again uh, dysfunctional weirdos that I run into every uh -huh. now and then, uh -huh. their ass is going to be grass during the tribulation. They're not going to get raptured up. He, he thinks they're all going to get saved and, ra and raptured up. Sorry. In other words... They're going to be killed. In other words... Dead. 
deep down they're probably afraid of the tribulation maybe they're they're so intimidated by it that they're making up excuses like they're going to get spared well that's their excuse they think they're going to be spared when jesus comes so they they want to help Jesus come. They want to destroy the United States real quick so that Jesus will come. They don't get he comes during World War III. Well, what, is, what have they done? What have these weirdos done that are so special that they should be one of the pre-selected elect? It's only in their mind. I just told you. It's you kind go of, into the Bible, it's, it's kind a of, entirely different story. It's kind of vain, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, what have you done, you know, just because I'm a believer, like, like like Kenny will tell me, oh, he's a big time Christian. I said, what does that mean, he's a big time Christian? Oh, he's a believer, he's a believer. I said, so what? The what? monkey sang a song, I'm a believer. Did Mickey he get Dolan's. called by God? Doesn't mean... There's the difference. You have to be called well, by God. Well, how do we know? We don't know that, how, how, if that happens. Well, he would know that, wouldn't he? Unless he was delusional, of course, like George W. Bush, where God <laughs> told him to go into Iraq. You see? No, Dick Cheney told him to go into Iraq. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, I'm sure he thought of Dick Cheney as God. Maybe Dick Cheney told told G. W. that God told him. There's a there's a <laughs> there's a post. I think it was on Facebook or it was on regular TV with Joe Biden praising Dick Cheney and George W. Bush. Seriously? Yes. And Joe Biden, when he was playing the violin on, on the late night talk shows, almost ready to shed a tear, because, you know, I mean, you know, I feel bad for him. His son died prematurely, but, you know, but he was, you know, politically, he was trying to get real close to the, to the, the people, you know, and the poor and everything, mm -hmm. and showing compassion. How could you be genuinely compassionate for the little guy if you're praising two demonic uh, 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 war criminals? Mr. Biden owes much to corporations and the insurance industry so, so in his state of, of uh, which is that, Maryland? Maryland? Delaware. Delaware, excuse me. So I knew Joe, it was one of those so little Joe guys. Biden is a, he's, he's a corporatist, he's, he's, he's like a, everybody else. He's a snake oil salesman. He's like a car dealer. Jeez. He's a corporatist. He's a corporatist, and people suck it up, and, and they get all misty. We're getting all misty in the in the audience because he he got to them right in the cockles of their little heart. They they're so gullible, the American public. But many organization leaders have decided in recent days to line up behind Cruz because they consider him the best funded and most electable. He won the backing of a key evangelical coalition after a secret December the 7th meeting in which top national activists agreed to roll out a stream of endorsements, many times for maximum impact between now and March the 1st. I could, Super Tuesday. I could picture a stream concerning Republicans, stream of urine. When a dozen states will hold primaries or caucuses. You see those uh, evangelical pastors setting themselves on fire uh, out of... Out no, of, I didn't see anyone yet do it. No, I saw a picture... I've of, seen Buddhists do it. I saw a picture of one. I don't know if that was a pastor, but... He set himself on fire and he was running and this is in protest of gay marriage. You know, good, good, do us all a favor, good for them. That's correct, they should all do that. Okay. A actually, let, let the entire Republican Congress do it also. That too, yes. That'd be doing the country Everybody a, a favor. enormous service. That's correct. Eight of those states have significant evangelical populations. And Cruz is targeting them in hopes of emerging March the 2nd with the highest delegate totals of any candidate. Since the December 7th meeting, endorsements have been announced by influential figures such as James Dobson. 
focus on the family. Mr. James Thompson, if you'll read newsletter censored, how to defeat a conservative, you'd understand who James Dobson is. James Dobson, once upon a time, made a DVD with Ted Bundy, the serial killer, trying to prove that pornography made him do it. Really? Yeah. So, in other words, uh, he was, um, he's a nut. He's an ev evangelical yes. nut. Yes, 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 yes. And, um, yes. it was like a mutual, um, it was a mutual benefit. Bundy was trying to get off on his charge, you know, plea of insanity. No, he took full responsibility for what he did. But what? he blamed his family. He blamed his church. He blamed the people around him. He blamed this day. He did not blame pornography. No, Do and Do Dobson wanted an excuse to, to ban all adult material. Just like Edwin Meese when he set up the Meese Commission. Right. And to try to prove that pornography causes violence. And, 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 the, and the evangelical right-wing nuts of the past with prohibition. Yes. Prohibiting yes. alcoholic beverages. Yes. They, 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 uh, they're very concerned with what other people do in their private lives. In their bedroom, in the bathroom, even. They, yeah, they want to control your private life. Who yeah. you marry, who you date. I think, I think some states actually have it, uh, uh, have a law saying that it's illegal to, uh, for interracial marriage. They did. They did. Interracial Jim marriage. Jim Crow laws did. No, some want to. Some either still have it or want to go back to it. Possibility, I know not. I just know that they did. Well, there was an, there's, there was an article to that effect. James Dobson, a radio host who founded Focus on the Family. Oh gosh. Brian Brown, the National Organization for Marriage, and Bob Vanderplatt. Head of the Iowa Family Leader Organization. The next gathering will take place a few days after Christmas at a remote ranch in Central Texas. Well, they should have the eight cartons in the back, like KORN Radio and, and Hee Haw. Where Cruz and his wife and several key financial backers will visit with some of the country's most prominent evangelical leaders for private conversations and a public rally. I got a simple answer for them. Why don't you mind your own fucking business? What other people do? Like Kim Davis uh, was talking the same shit recently about uh, gay marriage. Well, they what? wanted an evangelical in the White House. Mind your own fucking business. That's what most people would say. None of your damn business how I live or or what my hobbies are or who I date or who I fuck. Yeah, well, behind but closed they want to be in charge so that they can make laws against you saying that. Your freedom of speech is kaput. Well, when people are pissed, uh, you, okay. you you can't censor people that are that hate your guts and are pissed off. You can kill them. We can have a civil war. Not if it's just one person. No, no, well, of course not. There you go. And it usually that's the way they usually do it. They usually do it one at a time. <clears throat> when the cops kill the black people, they're not killing a whole bunch of them, are no. they? Kill them one at a time. Oh, like those uh, alternative doctors that are found dead all of a sudden? Uh, I believe that is not uh, true. That's horse, horse manure? Yeah. That's hogwash? Yeah. Some of the 100 or so leaders flying to the ranch, owned by conservative billionaire Ferris Wilkes, Ferris Bueller, are still considering other candidates, including Senator Marco Rubio of Florida, who also is maneuvering to be the Trump alternative. Activists say he is being hindered by a relatively late start. Trump performs well in national polls 
among self-described evangelical voters, but many top activists and group leaders consider the real estate magnet insufficiently committed to opposing abortion and same-sex marriage. Oh yeah, those those uh, extreme uh, uh, right-wing evangelicals, they still think that fertilized egg is a human baby. Oh yes. It's no different than the eggs in my omelet. Or scrambled eggs. <laughs> or um, You know, all the different styles of cooking eggs are, I don't know, man. You know who must be a pain in the ass? People that want it over easy. I mean, what the hell? They're still getting a runny yolk, no matter how you... you yeah. No matter if you do them sunny side up or, or well, over easy. A little more cooking time, that's all. Oh, a little bit more. Salmonella. I know him well, Chef Salmonella. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chef Carl Imari. The sheriff's deputies in a central Georgia county have been surprising motorists, some of whom expect a ticket. Instead, they've received $100 bills. The Macon Telegraph reported that Monroe County Sheriff John Carey Bittick gave officers 54 $100 bills to hand out randomly over three days during the past week. Doesn't sound like Boss Hogg to me. The newspaper reported that the money came from an anonymous benefactor. Bittick said the donor had seen the concept somewhere else and thought it would be a great idea in light of tensions nationwide between the police and the public. The Telegraph said that some of the recipients were so moved they broke into tears. Just is that going to change things? Is that going to make the cops less trigger happy? But not everyone. No. Deputy John Thompson said one motorist cussed him out before learning about the money. Wow. Well. And she did not get a hundred dollar bill. I bet she's uh, I bet she has many uh, I bet she has a warrant uh, against her for unpaid tickets. Lovely. She's one of those scoff laws. Oh boy. Oh boy. I, I see people like um, real arrogant bastards. Some of them are like yuppies that have BMWs and everything and they just they just design their own parking space. You know they park on a, on a diagonal they take up two spots because they're so special. You know, I mean, you're so worried about your car. Park farther away and walk. Don't don't take up two parking spaces by parking diagonally. You know, it's like rubbing it in people's face. I'm special. Hey, I got money. I got a new BMW. They have a new small car where if you want to parallel, parallel park, all you do is pull up alongside your parking space, turn the wheels, and you just go in. Was that is some kind of like radar? No, it's your car. You're driving. Echo location. But the wheels can turn. Yeah, it's like putting it on automatic pilot, so to speak. No, you're driving the car. How are you? You turn the four 